Have you ever felt overwhelmed or depressed? If so, you're not alone. It's a feeling that can strike anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's a universal human experience and one that can be incredibly difficult to navigate. But what if there were ways to prevent it? What if you could arm yourself with strategies to keep depression at bay? Well, that's exactly what we're here to discuss today. Seven strategies to be precise that can help prevent depression in everyday life. These aren't cure-alls, but they are tools you can use to help build a life that feels more manageable, more enjoyable, and ultimately, more you. Because everyone deserves to live a life free from the shadow of depression. So whether you're feeling down right now or you just want to be prepared for the future, these strategies can be beneficial. Now let's dive into these seven life-changing strategies. Our first strategy is maintaining an active lifestyle. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not an athlete. Well, the good news is you don't have to be. Physical activity is not just about lifting heavy weights or running marathons. It's about moving your body in a way that feels good to you. You see, when we engage in physical activity, our bodies release chemicals called endorphins. These are often referred to as feel-good hormones because they help to lift our mood and in turn can alleviate feelings of depression. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a dance class, or a yoga session, any form of exercise can contribute to your mental well-being. And the best part? It doesn't require a huge time commitment, even a few minutes a day can make a difference. So remember to include some form of physical activity in your daily routine. The second strategy is eating a balanced diet. Now let's talk about the role of nutrition in mental health. Our brains need a mix of nutrients to function properly, and our mood can swing with the quality of food we consume. Consider this. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fish and walnuts are known to reduce symptoms of depression. Similarly, leafy green veggies packed with folate can help create mood-regulating neurotransmitters. What about the energy we need every day? Complex carbohydrates found in whole grains release glucose slowly into our bloodstream, keeping our energy levels balanced. But the story doesn't end with just what we eat. How we eat is equally important. Regular meals and healthy snacks prevent our sugar levels from dropping, avoiding mood swings. Above all, remember, balance is key. No single food will boost your mood, and a variety of nutritious foods can help maintain it. Hence, a balanced diet is not only good for your body but for your mind as well. Our third strategy is getting adequate sleep. Sleep, the underrated superhero of mental health. It's not just about feeling rested, it's about giving your mind the time it needs to process to heal, to recharge. When we're well rested, our minds function at their best. We're more alert, we're more focused, and yes, we're happier. Now, let's consider the flip side. Lack of sleep? It's like kryptonite to your mental health. It can contribute to feelings of depression, making the world seem a little grayer, a little harder to face. You see, when we're sleep deprived, our brains can't fully recharge. We're running on empty, and that can make even the smallest tasks feel like climbing mountains. So it's not just about getting your eight hours. It's about quality as well as quantity. It's about creating a sleep environment that promotes rest and rejuvenation. It's about making sleep a priority. So ensure to get a good night's sleep to keep your mind refreshed. The fourth strategy is to stay connected with loved ones. Human beings are social creatures and we thrive on connections with others. When we surround ourselves with people who care for us, it creates a safety net that can help catch us when we fall. It's a simple yet powerful strategy that can have a profound impact on our mental health. On the other hand, isolation can be a breeding ground for feelings of depression. It can make us feel trapped, lonely, and misunderstood. The danger lies not just in being alone, but in feeling alone. So it's important to remember that there is always someone who cares about you, who wants to hear from you, and who wants to share in your joys and sorrows. Remember, it's not about the quantity of social connections, but the quality. So, make sure to stay in touch with your loved ones no matter how busy you get. Strategy number five involves practicing mindfulness. By now, you've likely heard this term being tossed around, but what does it really mean? Mindfulness is a type of meditation where you focus on being intensely aware of what you're sensing and feeling in the moment without interpretation or judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can train our minds to stay focused on the present, rather than ruminating on the past or worrying about the future. This can significantly reduce feelings of depression. There are many ways to practice mindfulness. It could be as simple as focusing on your breath for a few minutes each day, or taking a mindful walk where you tune into each step and the sensations around you. 
It could also be through activities like yoga or even mindful eating, where you savor each bite with full attention. Remember, mindfulness is all about staying in the present moment. It's a powerful tool to keep depression at bay, and it's right there, within your reach. And our sixth strategy is seeking professional help if needed. Now there's a common misconception that seeking help means admitting defeat, but that's far from the truth. Seeking help, particularly from a mental health professional, is a sign of strength, not weakness. It shows you're taking charge of your well-being. You're making a conscious choice to better your situation. If feelings of depression persist, it's crucial to consult with a professional. They're equipped with the knowledge and expertise to guide you through the labyrinth of your mind. They can help you navigate the complex, often overwhelming emotions that depression brings. They'll work with you to develop coping strategies tailored to your unique circumstances. Therapy is one such avenue for professional help. Therapists can provide you with tools to manage and mitigate feelings of depression. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for example, has been shown to be particularly effective in treating depression. It focuses on identifying and changing destructive thought patterns that lead to depressive feelings. Then we have medication as another option. Medication isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, it isn't suitable for everyone, and it's not without its side effects. But for some, it can be a game-changer. Antidepressants can help to balance chemicals in the brain that affect mood and emotions. Again, a mental health professional can guide you through the pros and cons to help you make an informed decision. The most important thing to remember is that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to say, I'm not okay. There's no shame in reaching out to a professional when you're feeling overwhelmed. The journey to overcoming depression isn't a solitary one. It's a journey that can be shared with professionals who are there to support, guide, and empower you. Remember, seeking help isn't a sign of weakness. It's an act of courage. It's a declaration that you value your mental health, that you're committed to taking steps towards a brighter, healthier future. So, don't hesitate to seek help if you're feeling overwhelmed. Our final strategy is to limit alcohol and avoid drugs. Alcohol and drugs may feel like a temporary escape from the pressures of life, but in reality, they can contribute significantly to the onset and exacerbation of depression. You see, alcohol is a depressant, which means it can dampen your mood and worsen feelings of sadness, anxiety, and hopelessness. Drugs, on the other hand, may offer a brief high, but they often lead to a sharp crash that can plunge you into deeper despair. It's not unusual for people to turn to substances as a coping mechanism. However, it's crucial to understand that this is a harmful and destructive path. Substance abuse can lead to a vicious cycle, where you use to escape your feelings only to find them magnified once the effects wear off. This can make your depression more severe and harder to manage in the long run. Instead, consider healthier coping mechanisms. Exercise, for instance, releases endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, which can help to boost your mood. Or try mindful activities like yoga and meditation, which can help you stay grounded and focused on the present, instead of getting lost in negative thoughts. Engage in hobbies that you enjoy and that make you feel good about yourself. Whether that's painting, playing an instrument, or hiking in nature, these activities can provide a sense of accomplishment and happiness that substances never truly can. Reach out to your support network when you're feeling low. Talk to friends, family, or a mental health professional about what you're going through. You don't have to face this alone, and there are people who want to help. And finally, remember to take care of your physical health. Eating a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, and staying hydrated are all crucial components of mental well-being. By taking care of your body, you're also taking care of your mind. In the end, the path to overcoming depression involves making choices that are beneficial to your overall health and well-being. Limiting alcohol and avoiding drugs is a crucial part of this journey. Remember your health is your wealth. So those were the seven strategies to help prevent depression in everyday life. We've journeyed through the importance of maintaining an active lifestyle, the role a balanced diet plays in our mental health, and the profound impact of adequate sleep. We've also explored the significance of staying connected with our loved ones, practicing mindfulness to stay grounded in the present, and the crucial step of seeking professional help when needed. Lastly, we delved into the necessity of limiting alcohol and avoiding drugs to preserve our mental well-being. Each of these strategies, when incorporated into our daily lives, can make a significant difference in our mental health. They aren't cure-alls, but they certainly provide us with tools to navigate life's ups and downs with resilience and strength. Thank you for watching. Remember, it's okay not to be okay. 
reach out, speak up, and take care of your mental health.